This instrument is a symbol of Portugal, a national heritage. Now researcher and musician Pedro Caldeira Cabral, in partnership with Fado Museum in Lisbon, is proposing a journey through the history of the Portuguese citern in an exhibition called O Som da Saudade, The Sound of Nostalgia. The idea of this exhibition is to show extant instruments from the 18th century up to now, attesting different approaches and different social value of the instruments. So we have the simplest instruments used by the poor people up to the upper classes, very complex instruments using tropical woods, luxury uh, ornaments, sculpture, engravings in silver. Some of them are works of art, really, a result of the combined craftsmanship of sculptors and goldsmiths. The main difference between the regular guitar, the classical guitar, um, and the Portuguese cithern is that they belong to different family of instruments. So these belong to the Greek kithara uh, instrument family, um, and the guitar, the normal guitar, belong to the lute family. The tuning of this cithern, uh, it's completely different of the guitar tuning. Um, the technique of playing is also very, very specific of this instrument. It uses only two fingers and in a special combination of uh, articulation of the two fingers. And we have steel strings, we have 12 to 18 strings. These are the main differences and are much more important than the shape or the dimension of the instrument. The Portuguese cithern is usually associated to father music, the Portuguese national genre, but it actually goes way back in history. The story of the cithern in Portugal started in the 16th century and the earliest record we have is from 1521. It was firstly used in a, con a context of uh, court circles. Then in the 18th century we had this enormous disaster of the earthquake and after that the cithern became somehow a disqualified instrument so it was associated to the marginal classes of the society, so it was the cheapest instrument they could use. The exhibition has 50 instruments on display. Some of them came from other museums. The majority, however, belong to private collections, including Pedro Caldera Cabral's. My first instrument is upstairs, and it was offered me by my father when I was 10 years old. Caldera Cabral will become a well-known musician He's in the Hall of Fame of Father Museum and also a great collector. Today, he owns 100 citrons. I've included in this exhibition the guitarist's accessories. They are mechanical devices which are made sometimes by uh, amateurs or by professionals so that the instrumentalists themselves can put the strings on the instrument because it's not like in the, the normal guitars or lutes where you buy the string and you just apply the string on the instrument. Here, because the steel strings are quite complex, you have to twist one of the bits or two of the bits in order to have the right dimension of the string. Also on display, a selection of memorabilia shows how deep is the connection of the sitten to Portugal's culture. In Turkey, we have the national uh, instrument, which is the saz, balama saz, and we have the same kind of symbolic meaning of the Portuguese cithern. It symbolizes our identity.